you know, the main reason that we want to be looking at video marketing is just that is the preferred um, medium for content. You know, 72% of people prefer video over text when they have that choice when they're researching a product or service. More interestingly for us in the recruiting industry is executives. 59% of executives prefer video over text when they're making a decision around a service. So those are just some kind of basic stats of why you need to be a part of this game. Um, of the video marketing. But one of the biggest things that we'll help with um, is engagement. I know for recruiters, you know, because our markets are so competitive, because there's a shortage in a lot of the markets that we're reaching out with talent, they're just picked over. One of the biggest pieces of feedback that I get from people is I just can't get people to respond. Well, video will increase your brand um, and in, in using video in creative ways when you're reaching out to clients and candidates, it will actually um, increase your engagement um, based off of how you're using it. So video is just incredibly powerful, you know, um, for business. And I think the biggest thing that I want you to wrap your guys head around, you know, before we get into the Q and A part is people do business with people. There is nothing that replaces what I'm doing right now outside of face-to-face, -face, which, you know, is challenging in 2021. Um, there's nothing more powerful than this. You guys are getting to know me as a person. You guys are getting to see me. You guys are getting to connect with me. You guys are getting to see my eyes and that builds trust and all of those things. So if you're not a part of this game yet, I highly recommend that you, that you get involved. Now, to help you guys get going with some of the challenges and some of the opportunities for you, um, you know, with your video marketing strategy, you know, I'm just going to kind of share some of the things that kind of come up um, that I've seen from other people. So, you know, a lot of things people get frustrated with is, uh, you know, they convince themselves that they don't have time in the day to do video. They're not sure what content that they actually need to create. They're not even sure who's going to listen to it if they actually decide to create it. And if they decide to do all that, then, you know, they might start working on it, but they don't want to put it out until it's perfect. Um, and when it's time to put it out, they don't know how and where to put the video out um, to market. Okay. And ultimately a lot of people have this imposter syndrome who wants to listen to me anyways. All right. So if any of those things kind of come up, you know, you're definitely in the right place, but I'm going to stop talking now. I would love for you guys to go into the comments there and somebody just start this whole thing off and let me know what your number one question is about video marketing. And I'd love to give you feedback on that. Um, because this is something that there's so much opportunity for, and it's something that with my clients, people that go through my relevant recruiter program that are implementing this, they're seeing such a massive return on investment of this time that they're putting in there. So what questions do you have right now about video marketing? Who's willing to take the leap and ask the first question here so we can get this dialogue going? And like I said, there is no good question. There is no bad question. They're all irrelevant. And I'd love to help you in any way, shape or form. So take this time and pick my brain if you would. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check my Facebook comments right now as people get in here. So let me know what your number one question is when it comes to video marketing. Um, like I said, I mean, uh, the majority of my clients that are using video as a part of their day-to-day -day con or their week-to-week -week content efforts, as well as using video to do some of their direct messaging are just absolutely killing it, you know, with the attraction game. So um, yeah, let me know what questions you have around video marketing. So I got the first one in. What is your advice to get started with your first video? So great question, Erica. So, you know, I think the easiest place for people to start when it comes to the first video is what's your least path of resistance, right? So that could be, hey, I feel like I can easily introduce myself to my market. Cool. Then do that. Um, I feel like I can give these three tips. Cool. Then do that. I think the biggest thing that you want to focus on when you're getting started um, is what is your least path resistance for you to be able to go do something? Now, think short and sweet. You know, you don't need to have a five minute long video in order for you to be able to, you know, see a benefit from that. And your first video is really about you just kind of ripping the band aid and putting yourself out there. So, you know, if I were to say and ask you a question, and that's usually a good one, good place to start is what are your frequently asked questions? What are the people in your market? What are they asking you? And go answer that question via video. It's probably the easiest place, easiest way for you to rip the bandaid and get started because then you don't have to research. You don't have to question your knowledge. Um, you know, so just looking at a topic, a frequently asked question. Um, but like I said, the other, the other way is if you have a brief little quick way to introduce yourself um, to your market, then just start. I think that's the key thing. Um, so that's a great question uh, that uh, 
Thank you, Erica, for asking that. Who else has another question? You know, we're talking all things video marketing could be around equipment, could be around content. Um, whatever your questions are, could be around distribution. You know, let me know what questions you have around video marketing. <clears throat> let me ask you guys a question real quick as we're waiting for these to come in. I mean, if I were to ask you, who is the best person to sell your company? Just answer below, who the best person in your mind, who is that best person to sell your company? Let me know what questions you have around video marketing. Like I said, anything with equipment, content, whatever you've got, throw it my way and I'll get you started today. So thank you guys for being here with me today as we go through this. I know somebody's got something there. So boom, Sharon answered the question, me, she said, Got it, Jamie, I'll, I'll, I'll correct that. So one of the things I wanna elaborate on is when I ask the question, who do you think is the best person to sell your business? If you didn't say you, I would say you're probably crazy because you are the best person to sell your business. What does this mean? Could you imagine like if you were to rewind even five to 10 years ago, could you imagine having the ability to almost have a TV show for your business? With today's technology, you can actually do that. And the cool thing about video, again, we were talking people buying from people, you basically have a sales machine that's working for you 24 seven, 365. That is the power of video marketing, right? And so if you feel like you can sell your business better than anybody, then you might as well be selling your business 24 seven, 365. So um, yeah, great stuff, Sharon. Thank you for commenting. I know you're the B, Mike, Michelle, awesome. So going back, so uh, Jamie Hickman had a question. Do you have any software you suggest using? So lots of different software options um, out there, Jamie. You know, when it comes to just kind of the basic editing um, I actually use Camtasia and Camtasia is, I think it's about 200 bucks for an annual subscription. Um, but I on the flip side of that, like if you're using Apple, um, if you have an iPhone or if you have a, a, a MacBook, just using iMovie is probably the easiest, you know, I think it's, it's actually free way to start doing some video editing. Um, from there, you know, the other software that I recommend is actually a software called Clipscribe and Clipscribe actually, if you guys have seen some of my, um, content that I put out on, LinkedIn. Um, if you're not connected with me on LinkedIn, go ahead over there, Donnie Gupton, check me out. But you'll see I have a video wrapper. And in that video wrapper, I can kind of promote the title of the video and then I have the captions below. So those are the two kind of for me that I use. Now, where I use Camtasia, Jamie's, that's what I use to kind of edit the clipping in the beginning of my videos. And then I use um, the Clipscribe for more of the marketing stuff. Um, and Heather, I think that kind of probably answered your question to that. Let me know if you guys have any follow up questions based off of that response. But um, you know, Clipscribe, Camtasia is a good, a good place to go. I would also say that don't overthink it, right? Depending on where you're at right now, one of the biggest things that we tend to do as humans is go, oh, okay, yeah, well, I'll start video, but I'm going to start at when, and then comes this big long list of stuff that we put in front of ourselves. Um, you know, when I have the perfect camera, when I have the perfect software, when I have the perfect X, Y, Z. And so, you know, if you have a iPhone or any type of phone, you are in business. That's all you need. Don't overthink it pull that baby out and, and create. Um, but those are the softwares that I recommend. Yeah. Great feedback. Sharon, Sharon said the new iPhone is awesome. Yeah. And if you've got one of the newer ones, I think I have the eight. I'm not really, in, <laughs> not really into all that stuff, but uh, the eight just does just a good of a job. Um, you know, for me here, I actually have a, a desktop setup that you guys see nine out of 10 times when you're seeing me is right here. I've got lights, I've got a Logitech camera. Um, and I think that's one of the things that I would recommend for people is, you know, again, I'm always looking for least, least path resistance. So when you can, as you're going down this path, one of the things I recommend is like, what is your studio? Where do you set up so that you don't have to think about that, right? Hey, all I have is an iPhone right now. Cool, there's my equipment. Where am I gonna shoot this video? I'm gonna shoot this video here because all these things kind of come up and that ultimately, you know, like I said, can help us prevent us from, um, you know, putting stuff out there. You know, more on the hardware side, Jamie, um, I'm using a Logitech uh, 1080p. It's actually designed for live streaming here. Um, I, I don't know the exact model. I can drop it in the link here after I'm done. Um, and, um, you know, for my equipment, I have these. Let me pull out my boxes, actually. I'll show you some stuff. Um, I've got these little Joby uh, tripods. So this actually holds my lights that I have. Um, I'll show you the back of the light so I don't blind you. But this is actually a newer, is the brand of the light. And then I have two of these both on the side sitting on those tripods. 
And then I have a Samsung um, Go, uh, Samsung Go mic. And yeah, Jamie, I'll, I'll go ahead and send you a list uh, of the complete setup, no problem. Um, I have a Samsung Go mic. And, um, you know, that mic is actually, uh, you know, sound quality is arguably more important than anything else when you're doing video. Um, so, but I think if you get the Logitech camera, you're probably good enough if you're doing desktop, desktop videos. Um, yeah, Sharon, good, good stuff. Sharon says she uses the ring. The ring is a great, uh, a great option. Again, um, I think you can get a ring, uh, set up at Staples. I just bought one for my wife for Christmas. I think it was like nine bucks. They have one. Um, for just like a small personalized thing. So again, you know, everybody's in a different place and on this video journey, you know, buy stuff that's within your budget, but lighting is always gonna be key. Um, sound is always gonna be very important. So gladly provide those, um, those tools. Um, you know, good question. So Sharon had a question. What do you think of video messaging? Um, you know, video messaging, I think is the biggest opportunity for people out there right now. I think this is a massive, massive opportunity that, for to really, you know, I think to show up differently, right? And um, it's something that I know uh, my clients in the relevant recruiter program, um, something that I train, something that we do, and we send personalized messages via video all day long. Um, and it's really just such a great way because when you think about what's happening, um, how many people, how many messages people are receiving in general, and I'm not even just talking about from your competitors, I'm just talking about life, you know, um, I'm always looking for ways to stand out and be different. And, you know, like I've said several times, video, there's just nothing that can kind of compare to it in terms of standing out. So I think video messaging is absolutely huge and, and definitely keep that. Um, Fulger, uh, yeah, I'll definitely, I'll, in this post later here, I will drop um, anything that I talked about. I'll drop the tools, I'll drop the, the equipment that I recommend. You guys can all grab that and reference all that stuff. Um, so great questions coming in right now. So. <clears throat> What other questions do you guys have? Anybody have any questions about content and content creation um, with videos? Anybody have any questions about, you know, how to distribute the video and get views on their videos? Um, let me know how I can get you guys some feedback on that because that's obviously very important stuff too. Um, but yeah, I think video marketing, you know, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I have a YouTube, uh, YouTube channel, um, a little soft plug, go ahead and go over there and give me some subscribers because it's harder than hell to get those things. Um, but, you know, it's the easiest way to really you know, start with everything um, is just looking for inspiration and in and, and ripping the bandaid. But who has any questions around content? Who has any questions around, you know, more? We've obviously gone over equipment and things like that. Who here is actually actively video marketing? If you can drop that in the comments, I'd be curious as who's actually creating videos right now. So those of you that are just joining in right now, we talked about, you know, some of the things we talked about earlier on at the top of the hour with the importance of video marketing is just the, the preferred consumption, you know, 75 or 72% of people in general prefer video over text when they have a choice when, when, you know, researching a product or service, but more importantly, our executives um, uh, in the marketplace, 59% uh, prefer video over text. So um, huge opportunity if you're not doing video this year, bomb, bomb, excellent stuff. Um, congratulations, Sharon's just getting started on the, on the video journey right now. Jamie's got a question in, do you think applicants or jobs should video message employers or consultants should video message clients? Yeah, I think that, I think that, um, the answer is yes to both. I think that video, when you stop, you know, when you just get down to the basics of it, it's just a great way to communicate with people. Um, and I think that with video, it also allows us to share some of our human emotion and feelings and stuff like that. And we can come across more genuine. So, you know, going back to your question, um, you know, from an applicant standpoint, I think it's huge because I think your average applicant is used to a pretty lazy approach um, from, from, from some of the other competitors in the marketplace. And I think when you just do that extra step, um, you know, they may be willing to to you know, watch that video and be more engaged with your, your offer or message. And I think the same is true um, on the client side. Again, I think that if, when you're looking at clients and candidates, they're both just inundated with messaging. Us as humans in general, you know, forget about the <laughs> profession, career, where we're sitting. Um, our attention spans are just getting shorter and shorter with the amount of stuff that's being thrown our way. And I think video just kind of helps kind of bust through that, Jamie. So I love it. Um, great questions. I think, I think you know, I can't really think of any cons, you know, from this type of an outreach, quite honestly. 
um, unless you're going to show up and, and, you know, not bring energy to the video and, you know, um, <laughs> it's like, who's the guy on the old eye commercials, the very monotone, it, you know, that might not be a win for you. Um, if you're going to show up that way, but you know, I always tell my clients that like, if you just show up and you have energy, people buy that people buy people. And if you can come in and be like, Hey, you know, I'm super excited about this, but you know, don't have to be over the top. Don't have to not be yourself. But if you're sharing energy, people like that. And so, um, I think that's going to be important for you as you kind of, kind of do that. Um, yeah, good feedback. Sharon says easier to build a relationship, um, when she's using, using the video and, and, <clears throat> you know, kind of ask yourselves this as you guys are watching this. Some of you I've spoken with, some of you I know who you are, some of you have no idea. Do you guys feel closer for, to me or less, you know, further away from me as I'm watching, as you're watching this video and watching me talk with you, right? There's a unique thing that's going on. Some of you are like, oh, forget this clown. I'm gonna go on and move on, <laughs> right? But others of you are like, oh yeah, I, you know, like Donnie's personality. I, yeah, he knows what he's talking about, right? So there's there's lots of rapport that's happening as you guys are watching this right now. So um, I appreciate you guys being here and I appreciate all the awesome questions right now. Um, but I'm still looking for more. Let me know how I can, you guys can extract whatever you want out of me um, while I'm hanging here over the next couple of minutes. So um, <clears throat> for those of you who are starting, you know, what are some of the challenges that you're faced with right now in your video marketing journey? Um, what, what specifically, you know, would be your next step, you know, for video marketing? Um, how many of you guys that are watching right now and listening right now haven't started, but plan on doing video marketing in 2021? Just drop 2021 below so I can get an idea of who's ready to go down this path. Um, because I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's scary, <laughs> um, but it's rewarding if you're willing to do it all. Good question from Ken. Um, so Ken said, would you send a video to someone you have not been able to get on the phone? hundred percent, you know, kind of goes back to what I was saying. Um, you know, a lot of times with our, with, a, you know, client or candidate, it really doesn't matter. Again, we're going back into busy people. There's a lot of phone calls we're getting. There's a lot of emails that we're getting. And now you pop up and you're the guy with a video that's personalized to them and they can see a picture or image of them. Um, it's going to increase the response and engagement. And, you know, when you look at it and you stop, you know, you start to just kind of think of these things traditionally, that, like I can't network with you right now. I can't go to the networking event and reach out and say, hey, my name's Ken. Nice to meet you. Um, well, what's the best alternative? Well, I'll send a video and do the same thing. So it doesn't matter, you know, at this point, you know, with you, where you're at, Ken, you might just start doing them just to get comfortable with a virtual handshake. Hey, just want to reach out. Thank you for connecting with me on LinkedIn. My name's Ken. I recruit this. Talk to you soon. Right. It doesn't have to be more than that. But yeah, 100 percent. Like um, I've found that when I shoot videos to people prior to them getting on a call with me or if I send videos as a follow up personalized, um, just a tons of magic happens there. Um, it's, it's just a huge, huge opportunity for you. So. I love it as I'm looking down. So many people are going to get drive, driven and get going on video marketing in 2021. Um, huge, huge for you guys. And thank you for your feedback, Michelle. Um, definitely much closer. So yeah, that was my the, the response to my question is as you guys are watching me, do you feel you know closer or further away? She says definitely much closer as you guys are watching me through this video. So, you know, I think the thing that that I would remind you or my philosophy on this is like just to show up and be yourself. You'll see a lot of coaches out there that want you to rah, rah, and you have to show up a certain way. And don't get me wrong. There's definitely tactics and there's definitely little things that you can do. But what I've found in my belief in marketing is there's enough people that are going to like me for me. And that's why I want to show up. So I want to try to show up as authentically as I possibly can on these videos, on these lives. Um, because that builds connection. And that's what I'm looking for is I'm genuinely looking to work with people that are, that are connected with me, that know me, like me, trust me type of a thing. And so as you go on your video, the one thing you don't need to think about is like, um, or overthink is how you need to put on this performance. In fact, if you can get over that part of it and just start to you know, focus on your message and what you're putting out there um, and less on the performance part of it, it actually takes a lot of pressure off. And with that, one of the things <clears throat> that I really, you know, encourage people from a mindset standpoint, because I know one of the biggest things, and nobody's really brought this up yet, and not surprising because I don't expect people to drop in the comments, I'm scared to put myself out there, <laughs> and I know some of you are, um, is if I'm coming from a place of value. So like, as I show up here, I know that there's people that have watched this. And like I said, there's probably people that are sitting here watching this going, man, this guy's a loser. I don't ever want to talk to him. 
Um, and that's fine because for me, where I'm coming from is I'm coming from a place of goodwill. I'm coming from a place of value. I'm fired up this camera today to share with the world. And I think that that's the mindset that will really help you as you start to go put yourself out there is it's a little bit scary. Like I talked about, um, it's a little bit scary, a little bit nerve wracking to, to be so vulnerable with your market and to start to share some th certain things. And, and almost everybody I've worked with, as soon as they per put their first video out there, um, they dang near feeling naked. They don't know what to do. It's uncomfortable. And so, you know, if you really just always come from me, you know what, I'm coming from a place of goodwill and I'm putting out value to the marketplace. And if somebody doesn't like that and they're going to do something negative or say something negative, guess what? Did us both a favor because I wouldn't want to work with that person anyways. And so that's really puts you into a place of power when you're building videos. Um, yep. So good stuff, Sharon. Does anybody else have any other questions? Anybody have any questions about content um, and what type of content they would wanna put out for their marketplace? Um, for those of you that commented 2021, I'd be curious, what would you plan on your first video being? Um, or do you need to, do you wanna pick my brain on how we can help you get it started with that? Um, and again, like I said, thank you guys for all hanging out with me here today. I think this is an incredible topic, obviously that you guys are all very interested in. And um, yeah, so, I don't see any more questions coming in, um, but I do want to invite you guys, if you guys are looking to do video marketing um, in my relevant recruiter program, we have a very specific section um, called the content conversion system. And this is a system that I've come up with that helps, you know, my clients specifically understand exactly what kind of content they need to create examples of all that kind of content, how to create um, videos, how to market those videos, how to get more views on those videos, how to, how to make those videos um, you know, pretty with wrapping and stuff like that. Um, we give you all of the tools necessary to be successful with a content marketing and video marketing strategy. In addition to that, we help our clients really stand out and separate from the next recruiter. We help them turn LinkedIn into a lead machine um, by leveraging multiple different ways of, of attacking LinkedIn, attacking LinkedIn from both an organic approach, from an automated approach, from a direct messaging approach, from a online marketing, um, you know, content approach. And then we show you how to show up on multiple channels. So that's all in the Relevant Recruiter program. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Relevant Recruiter program and you really want some coaching and support and help on your journey, um, being a marketer this year in 2021, just drop a win in the comments below. Drop win in the comments below. And I'll reach out to you personally. We can set up a time to you know talk more about your business, kind of see where you're at now, where you're looking to go. And if this um, Relevant Recruiter method can help you get there and you know if the Relevant Recruiter program is a good fit for your business. Um, but that's something that I'd really encourage you to drop a win below or send me a direct message and we'll set up a time to speak and we can see if this content conversion system can help your business. But I really applaud all of you that are going all in on your video marketing in 2021. Um, you, it's something you will definitely not regret. Um, <clears throat> and it's something that, you know, as you, the faster you get started with it, the faster you're gonna start seeing results from it, the more you're gonna continue to double down on it. So. Thank you guys for being here with me today. I'm seeing the winds coming through. I will re I'll reach out to all of you guys here shortly. Um, if you have any more questions after this video is over, feel free to drop them in and I'll follow up. And like I said, I'll drop in the technology that I'm using as well as the, um, the tools that I'm using for recording and stuff uh, on this training here later on. So thank you guys for being here with me today. And again, reach out, drop a win below, send me a direct message. I'd love to speak with you about your recruiting business. Talk soon.